For a large percentage of us, it's normal to consider work as something to be endured, not enjoyed. We toil all day, then come home to find the right work-life balance, uh, with the assumption that work is about stress, while the rest of our life consists of happiness. We don't think we can arrive at happiness by a surge of positive instances. Rather, we characterize happiness as an overarching quality of life that even includes emotions like anger, sadness, and stress. While it's not ideal for these emotions to last too long or have an impact on your thinking, the circumstances in which they happen or are often the ones that fuel our deeper feeling of purpose and draw us into meaningful contact with others. Indeed, happiness at the workplace is essential. Happiness drives our work performance in a team and an organization. But how do you measure happiness, especially in a business environment? I have an interesting uh, art to it. The intersection between the dimensions of performance and happiness will dictate whether an organization can sustain its success and overall happiness. An organization's critical results can more likely be executed and sustained with both a suitable performance management system and a positive approach to influencing people that increases happiness. I believe so that when your performance outstands individuality, in a team and as an organization, happiness will be acquired in default with a sense of achieving something. However, working in a team and ensuring the team is happy doesn't mean just feeling happy constantly. It is feeling positive about your work, willing to fix problems rather than complaining, accepting constructive criticism and improving oneself without feeling pressure. As important as it is for the organization and its employees to be happy, they are responsible for keeping the customers and clients happy as well. Making your customers happy, happier is different than creating truly happy customers. Happy customers value a brand beyond the initial purchase as they trust your company is aligned with their needs and is committed to helping them achieve the long-term goals. I believe that happiness at work, like happiness in life, is a basic human aspiration and thus the most attractive perk a workplace can offer, but your happiness should never overs overshadow your performance. You can be truly happy if you're not true to yourself and your goal. And while we should believe in individual happiness, it can never be an expense of the overall happiness of the team or the organization. What's your take on the happiness in an organization?